Oh, the joys of public service. If you work as a staffer in the White House, your salary gets reported to Congress, and the Obama administration also shares it with the public, downloadable as an Excel spreadsheet. Using a few basic functions, what interesting facts can we draw out? For one thing, the White House's headcount is 457 people, each one of these bars representing an employee. Two of them draw no government salary. They're likely receiving compensation through a fellowship or a foundation. Not counting them, a total of 262 employees, 57% earn $80,000 per year or less. The average is around $83,000. Earning in this ballpark, you got employees like the director of Hispanic media and the deputy director of digital strategy. What's the lowest salary? $42,000. 20 people are tied for that base salary, which puts them well below Washington, D.C.'s median income. They hold titles like analyst and staff assistant, who's at the top of the pay scale. 22 people have topped out the government employee pay scale at $172,200. They include the national security advisor, Susan Rice, and her deputy and the counselor to the president. The president, by the way, earns $400,000 per year. So what do all these people do? The list does not include the household staff like chefs and gardeners. These are office staffers, people like speech writers. As a matter of fact, nine employees have the word speech writer somewhere in their title. 32 have titles that include the word analyst, but there are only two calligraphers. One earns $87,000. The chief calligrapher earns almost $100,000. The White House, we learn, also does a lot of communicating 33 people have either communications, media, or press somewhere in their title. And White House spokesman Josh Earnest earns the maximum 172 k Judging by this extensive list, it takes a village to run the White House. So what is this village's total base salary? Around $38 million. That's the short answer.